You are an obsession. You're my obsession. Who do you want me to be? Hello and welcome to Spotlight. My name is JC Crisologo and welcome back to this wonderful edition of Spotlight. And today's topic is, ooh, it's that favorite movie of mine that I've seen recently. It was called The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Now, if you're thinking who Demeter is, Demeter is not a person, it's a ship. It's a Russian ship that was meant to uh, transport cargo from one point to the other. And it so happened that the precious Cargo in the Demeter is the coffin of Dracula. Ooh, 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 so scary, so scary. And now let me look at my wonderful cheat sheet. <laughs> so the last voyage of the Demeter is an American supernatural horror film directed by Andre Ovridal and written by Braggy Schultz and Zach Olkiewicz, although I wouldn't call it an American tale because originally it's, um, it's a British novel, actually. It's originally a British novel. And uh, the original British novel, by the way, because this, The Last Voyage of the Demeter, was taken from Chapter 7 of Bram Stoker's Dracula, meaning that it's a bridge story. It's a, a link from this chapter to another chapter. And, um, okay, be before I go on any further, the stars of this beautiful horror movie, well, I don't think that beautiful and horror movie should go together, but like phenomenal, I should say phenomenal and horrific horror movie is Javier Botet. Now Javier Botet plays the monster in this movie because they, in this movie Dracula does not look seductive or somebody that you would f fall in love with. He really looks like in your face demon. So in this movie they, they revealed to you what his spirit really looks like. And it was portrayed beautifully by Javier Botet. And Corey Hawkins is in this movie, and Aisling Francoisi, and Liam Cunningham. He did a marvelous job as the captain. And David uh, Dasmalkian, or Dasmalchan, and he was, I loved him in Ant Man. He's He's a great comedian, and I didn't realize that he's a great dramatic actor as well. And Chris Wally, and Stefan Kapicic. <laughs> I hope I um, pronounce his name correctly. So anyhow, if you watch this movie, please do not expect it to have a happy ending. And also my advice to you before watching this movie, if you don't want to read the entire book of Bram Stoker's Dracula, uh, you can at least read chapter 7. Or if you don't like to read, you simply have to go to YouTube and listen to the chapter 7 of Bram Stoker's Dracula. And it's like that whole chapter 7 is there. And yeah, it's... I, I heard it on, on YouTube and it was so amazing and it's equally as fantastic as this movie. Now, probably you're asking, was it scary? Yes, it was scary. Yes, it was horrific, but they also added some elements to it, a very uh, sad and melancholy uh, reference, which to me makes perfect sense since, you know, once again, I, I told you that this movie does not have a happy ending. Happy endings are delegated to movies with a blue sky, clouds, and a rainbow. And this movie is not it. 
so forget about it <laughs> okay but if you are into hardcore horror movie then this movie is for you and also um about the gore factor the gore factor was really good because it wasn't like in your face gore fest which i, I really like they kind of pulled back on the evil dead kind of element i mean i'm sure you guys know what i'm talking about if you guys watch horror movies if you watch the evil dead it's like oh my gosh oh my gosh it's so horrific oh, i think i'm gonna throw up right now you know that kind of uh, you know reaction when you see the evil dead movies oh, i can't believe she did that she used to be the mom you know that sort of stuff and she used the cheese grater okay enough of the cheese grater anyhow um <laughs> the story of this the last voyage of Demeter, um, as some of you know, the, the ship just went sailing by into a tempestuous night in some, you know, the, the pier of somewhere in, 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 in England, and it, it got shipwrecked. It's, it's so funny because England was really the destination of the ship, but instead of sailing in smoothly, it got just shipwrecked on a tempestuous night and then they went to the ship I'm I'm quoting the book as well which was you know introduced in this movie and then nobody was in the ship and there were no survivors not a single surviving soul in this story in the story of Bram Stoker's uh, Dracula and also um, in this movie, it was quite fascinating what they did because I loved how they didn't take away from the story. Usually, if it's a, a film adaptation of a book, more likely I'm very disappointed. Because I remember when I watched Interview with a Vampire, I was disappointed because they took away the scariest part of the book. And the movie was nice. I mean, you know, it starred Brad Pitt and and Tom Cruise played the the vampire uh, the vampire Lestat or you know Lestat as some would would call him. And it was beautiful. And Kirsten Dunst, you know, played um, Claudia yeah, the vampire. But anyhow, um, I highly recommend this movie for you guys to watch if you're uh, if you are a Hardcore fan, don't listen to uh, what others are saying that it tank in, in the box office. I think it's a matter of of preference. I mean, just because you know a movie didn't do well in the box office doesn't that doesn't give you the reason to uh, prevent you from watching it. You know, I mean, try having a brain, try having to have your own opinion, and go and see the movie. You know, and don't be dissuaded by, oh, it's, uh, you know, it didn't do well in the box office. It's not about figures and numbers for us viewers. Leave that to the executives of these Hollywood studios. And since we're not executives, we are the audience. So as the audience, the last say is on you. Now, I really highly recommend this i i loved it and they stayed true and faithful to the book and that was it for my first segment of spotlight and don't go away because i will be back with more now on digital and dvd did it Space Wars Quest for the Deep Star is an epic sci-fi adventure. Do what needs to be done. An edge of your seat wild ride. We have company. Tons of popcorn munching fun. Five stars. A love letter to the sci-fi films of the 70s and 80s. With plenty of action and fun for all. You need to see it. You really do. The captain just decided it's time to go. I am ready for a sequel. Experience a bold new adventure. 
Space Wars Quest for the Deep Star. A good old fashioned adventure. <laughs> now on digital and DVD. Traditional TV is going away. Hollywood is starting to fade. People are demanding real stories from real people. Our voices are now being heard in our own way. Podcasts, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and TikTok Live are becoming the norm. Internet TV has now reached the highest demand in human history. Social Media Shows is now the new media of the century. I know, right? It's a dream come true. Wow, super creepy dude. Mason, <laughs> stop. I think he heard you. What if someone walked up in the back of his cinema? She's gone. Someone took her. Who's that creepy trucker? Call me Mother Trucker. Hi, I'm Deacon T with Modern Word Ministries. It's great to be with you today. Just a short little promo for our show. Every Sunday morning we have service, and you can follow us at 10 a.m. Pacific Time on modernwordministries.org. And if you missed us or you want to see some of our older messages, go ahead and check us out on socialmediashows.com every single morning at 9 a.m. It's a great way to kick off your day, get a little bit of the word in you, get something uplifting, get you started off on your way. You know, if you're looking for prayer or you need some help, reach out to us. If you go to our website, again, that's modernwordministries.org, you can Interact with me via telephone, via DM, text message, whatever you want. I'll get right back to you. So if you need prayer, you need help, you just need somebody to talk to, Modern Word Ministries is here for you. We are your church in the community. So until you see you next time, be blessed, everybody. Bye-bye. Ta-da! And welcome back to the second segment of Spotlight. And my name is JC Crisologo. And for those of you who have missed the first segment of today's show, uh, today's feature review is the movie The Last Voyage of the Demeter. And like I said in during the first segment, I love this movie because they didn't take away from the book where it came from, Bram Stoker's Dracula Chapter 7. And they actually added a little bit more and they embellished it to make the movie uh, make more sense. So anyhow, before I go any further, I'd like to shout out to all my viewers and particularly uh, Carmen Ochoa and Ellen and Athena, Eva Marie and Sophia Meatballs. Hi, fur baby. And also, um, who else? Jonathan Aklan and and all of you, all of you guys who are you know watching this show. Thank you for watching, and you know, don't forget that this is available, actually available at socialmediashows.com. Uh, and don't forget to pardonnez-moi. Oh, at 4 p.m. Yes, it's it's going to be at 4 p.m. Monday. Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. 
And um, so if you go to the socialmedias.com, don't forget, don't, so, socialmediashows.com, don't forget to hit uh, the subscribe button, the like button, you, you know what to do. So you'll be able to receive uh, my shows uh, automatically on your feed. So anyhow, and now back to the spotlight, which is the last voyage of the Demeter. And today's feature, my favorite, 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 favorite character and actor in this movie is none other than um, the cook in this movie who was played by, I'm so proud of him, by a great Filipino actor. His name is John John Briones. And his breakthrough role in the Western Hemisphere was he played the pimp in uh, Miss Saigon. And he played the engineer. I was telling my director, uh, Maria, if there's any role that I would like to portray is the, the pimp in, the, in Miss Saigon and be able to sing that. What's that I smell in the air? The American dream. Do, 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 do. Yes, that's a little snippet of what he did. <laughs> if you're seeing John John Briones, that was his uh, costume in uh, Miss Saigon. And I think, I believe he won an award for it. Yeah, I think he won a Tony for it together with uh, Miss Leia Salonga, who appeared as Kim in uh, Miss Saigon and after Miss Saigon he was so blessed enough to get a slew of Hollywood series he even um, appeared in a spin-off of uh, American Horror Story and he he played alongside my favorite actress Sarah Paulson oh my gosh Sarah is so amazing an actor said the Sarah invented acting Oh my gosh, you see that? That's the compliment that you want. She invented acting. And John John Briones played a, a psychiatric doctor alongside Sarah Paulson, and she appeared as Nurse Ratchet in Ratchet, which is a prequel. It's a prequel to um what was that movie again? It was the Jack Nicholson was in it. Um it's about a cuckoo's nest, you know, a long flew cook's, a cuckoo's nest or something. Yeah, so it's, it's a, st a story about the, the evil nurse ratchet in that movie uh, of Jack Nicholson. So anyhow, John John Briones in this movie, The Last Voyage of the, the Demeter, he, I thought he was amazing and he held his own. And as you know, every single one of the people in this movie, they all die. I love the way he died in this movie. But in order for you to know the way he died in this movie, you have to see it. <laughs> the only clue that I'm going to give you, and he, he does a little bit, row, 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 you're both gently down the stream. Yes. <laughs> and after that, you just have to see it. You just have to see. And also one thing that I love about his character in, in this movie is because, you know, this was set in the 19th century, so obviously they didn't have any refrigerators. So all their food were all like livestock. They, they have the pigs and the lambs and the cows and the sheep and everything. And naturally, the first thing that Dracula did when he blew out from his coffin is eat all the livestock and he got angry and said I guess we'll be eating potatoes and cabbages from now on because there was no more meat to cook and that was amazing <laughs> so yeah it, they had there was a little bit comedic moment but I noticed that the audience were so frightened that they the comedy part of it flew over their heads. <laughs> I was the only one laughing in the movie theater. I guess we're not eating meat anymore. <laughs> so anyhow, and that was my review of The Last Voyage of the Demeter. Go out there and see it, and see it at the movie theater. I mean, not unless you have a gigantic screen at home, then by all means, 
watch it in your home, but there's nothing like the cinematic experience. And that's it for today. And as I always say, a funny thing that I say when my show ends, if you are on a diet, don't forget to eat your celery because it's the vegetable that eats you. Chowder!